what's good rookies bass drop keys your friendly neighborhood negro and a rookie mycologist in today's video i'm going to be doing spore print and spore swab to agar and make sure you stay till the end of the video if you want to see an update on the uncle ben bags that we inoculated the all-in-one grow bag the north spore grain bags that i inoculated and the agar to agar and agar to grain spawn that we did on may the 1st but before we get into that let me give you a quick little recap to show you how we got to where we are today three months ago on the channel you guys saw me take a spore print for the first time as we covered in that video it's very easy to do if you haven't seen that video i will put the card in the upper right corner and i'll put the link in the description what i've done is in the playlist section of the channel i added a new playlist called spore print to flush the first episode i just talked about is when i took the spore print this episode we're gonna do spore print to agar and spore swab by the way but what i want to accomplish is i want to go from spore print that i took myself and we're going to do the entire process of growing mushrooms all the way from spore print so now that you got the backstory and you know what we're going to do in the future let's get to it also right here guys i do want to let you know where i got all my information about cloning and about agar and that came from philly golden teacher now if you're in the mushroom space the mushroom community then you probably already know about philly golden teacher as you can see he has a big successful channel for anybody that's new to growing mushrooms like me there's a lot of great information on exactly how to do everything that i'm talking about in today's video and a lot more on philly golden teachers channel so if you haven't watched any of his content go over to his channel and check it out also i want to thank philly golden teacher for showing me so much love i really appreciate it all right guys so we fast forward again as always you guys know i spray my gloves with the 70% iso alcohol also sprayed the table and wiped it down now the first thing that you guys are probably noticing is i'm not in a steel air box anymore now i'm in front of a flow hood this is a four by two inoculate the world flow hood and if you guys are in the market for a flow hood i recommend you getting it from inoculate the world they have different sizes available from small ones to big ones. This is a bigger one, a four by two. I will be doing a dedicated video on the flow hood. Also, you'll see the flow hood again in the video that I'm doing about my entire mushroom setup. The steel air box did work great for me, but it's hard to see what you're doing whenever you're doing stuff inside the steel air box. Also, it's hard for me to get you guys great looking footage. And as a content creator, that's very important. And by the way, I did not make this agar myself. I bought this off of Etsy, but to do the transfer is really easy. The top of the lid on the cup, you just want to crack it so that it's easy to go from one cup to the next one without a lot of hassle. Now, if you've never seen agar before, most of the time you're going to see it either in a Petri dish or in these kind of ketchup cups. I actually bought some agar in Petri dishes and I bought some in these little ketchup cups because I seen Philly Golden Teacher. He uses these little cups. And by using both of them, it's way easier for me just to use these cups. Also, if you use the Petri dishes, you gotta buy some parafilm as well to wrap around it. So that way no bacteria or anything gets in there. With these cups, you don't have to do that. You can just open it up like you see, put whatever you need to inside of there and close it back up. So the first thing that we're gonna do is the spore swab to agar. Now, if you don't know what a spore swab is, it's basically a sterile cotton swab that has spores on the end of it. I'm giving you a picture of it right here. You can see the spores on the end of the cotton swab. The next flush that I have with my mushrooms, we will be making these on the channel. It's super easy to do. You just take the sterile swab and you rub the gills of the mushrooms to get spores on there. It's super easy. In order to go from spore swab to agar, all you do is open up the agar ketchup cup. You can see I'm doing kind of like a zigzag pattern on the agar as i'm doing this i'm twisting the spore swab back and forth now spores are microscopic so if you don't see any on there with your bare eyes don't worry about it it's possible that we're putting millions of spores inside of here by doing this because they're so microscopic now once i get to the last one i'm going to do the same thing that i did but after i finish doing that 
I'm gonna take some scissors that I sprayed down with the 70% iso alcohol and I'm gonna cut the tip off the spore swab. I wanna put this tip of the spore swab in the middle of the agar cup. So I flamed up my scalpel and I moved the tip where I wanted it to be. That's how easy it is to do a spore swab to agar. I'm just going to close up these cups and then when I finish with everything, I'll label it and put the date on it and everything. Now we're gonna move on and do the spore print to agar. Now, in order to do the spore print to agar, you're gonna need something that you can scrape the spores off with. You can use a scalpel. If you have a scalpel, you just wanna flame sterilize it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use my inoculation loop. I remember that my mycology set that I got from North Spore, I remember that my mycology set has an inoculation loop inside of it. So I grabbed that. If you guys wanna get the mycology set for yourself, the seven piece set, I believe is $30 on northspore.com. You can use the code base drop keys to get 10% off, but you can find it on northspore.com. But you don't need an inoculation loop. Like I said, if you have a scalpel, just use that. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before as far as cracking open my agar cups. Once I have them cracked open, I'm gonna take my spore print. This is the spore print that you guys see me make three months ago and I'm gonna open it up. And basically you just wanna scrape some of the spores inside the agar cup. Now you don't need a lot. If you can scrape it off right inside there, that'll be cool. What I did is I took my inoculation loop, I scraped some up and then I put it right in the middle of the cup. I did the same thing to all four cups. As I'm looking at this, I probably should have flame sterilized in between each use, but I think we'll be okay. Also, I guess I should mention that the reason why I'm doing four of each one is just in case one or two of them gets contaminated for whatever reason, we don't lose everything. We got a backup for the backup for the backup. You feel me? That's how easy it is to do spore print to agar. I'm just gonna fold this spore print back up, put it up, make sure I close up my lids, and then I will label it with the strain and the date that's what I do in all the cups now. On the side of the cups, I'll put the strain and the date. All right, so now as promised, I'm gonna give you guys a little update on a couple of things that's inside the incubation tent. The first thing that you're looking at is the agar to agar transfers that we did. You see the yellow agar cups. Remember, that's the ones that we did, the agar to agar transfers. Then in the jars right here, the two jars, that's the agar to grain transfers that we did. As you can see, it's colonizing very nice. Next to that is the all-in-one bag. As you can see, it's basically ready to put in fruiting conditions. I gotta go to the store to get some rubber bands so I can do the hoodie check with that. But once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the fruiting conditions. Then what you see on the top, that's the North Spore millet grain bags that you guys see me inoculate here on the channel. As you can see, they have colonized great. I'm about to spawn to bulk those in the next 48 hours. And then finally, the Uncle Ben rice bags. I haven't even done the break and shake on those. They've been colonizing so great that I haven't even done the break and shake. As you can see by looking at the bottle window, we're getting some great colonization in every bag. I haven't lost any bags yet to contamination or anything else. So right now, the Uncle Ben's bags for season three is doing just fine. Before I get out of here, I do want to invite everybody to the Shrooms and Trees Discord server. It's my brand new paid Discord server. It's only been up two weeks and we already got 23 members. I will be doing the first giveaway on June the 2nd, and I'm actually going to be giving away one of the North Spore Boomer Bag Kits. I'm actually going to be giving one away on June the 2nd. And then after that, we're going to have a new giveaway every month. If you wanna know where to get the spores from, come over to my Instagram account, the Rookie Mycologist Instagram account. Click on the link tree link in my bio and you'll see my recommendation on where you should get your spores from. But guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you wanna support me and the channel, come over to the rookiemycologist.com. I have some great merch on the site that everybody is loving. I wanna thank everybody that's already put in your orders. So if you're looking for a hoodie, t-shirt, slides stickers we have a lot of great merch on the site i really appreciate all of you and until i see you guys the next time i'm out guys much love rookie out